go and have a look. This fish passage project in Tasman District is such a huge opportunity to improve the mana of the waterway, the ecological health uh, of Tasman District's streams and, and waterways. Yeah, about two litres a second. Our freshwater fish are in trouble. Over 70% of our native fish uh, nationwide are in decline. This project is trying to bring back our native fish back into the Tasman area. this thing in. Ministry for the Environment is providing 1.75 million along with Tasman District's 400,000. So we've added a bit of new muscle rope to this existing skirt that was already here so that this will help the fish to get up into the culvert. Without this sort of thing the fish stop here. Any fish upstream will die out. This funding will make a huge difference to help our Tatayo, our environment and also the little fishies that can't speak for themselves. This is one of our experimental sites where we've got two culverts side by side. Yeah. One we we've treated with a, a rubber apron here and a spat rope and on this side we've got nothing. So we've got about eight times as many fish coming up through here, band of kokapu and, and eels. Having a holistic understanding of the way in which these habitats interact from a kiataki tai perspective is really important for the health of the fish, for their life cycles and how they flourish. How many of these culverts are there around the region? We estimate about seven to 8,000. This is such a dream, a vision to scale up this project to the whole region. This funding will allow us to increase the rate and the scale of our activity by over 20 times. I love it, eh? It's just being out, outdoors, I don't know, making an impact on the environment for the better. It's good, eh? We're looking to employ a team of up to six. This Jobs for Nature funding has enabled us to expand our activities into this particular area of fish passage, so we're, we're wrapped with that opportunity. For Ngāti Apakitira Ato, one of our most important aspects of going forward is for our rangatahi to understand the migrations of fish, to understand that the paths that they've taken to get to where they are now could potentially be different going forward. We have to look after our environment in order to have something for tomorrow.